Hi, I'm Jake Archibald. I work on the Chrome DevRel team, and I wanted to show you an exciting feature that's just landed in Chrome Canary. Now, if you want to have a play around with this, you need to launch Canary from the command line and behind this series of exciting command line flags. And then I'm going to go to About Tracing and start a recording. Now, About Tracing is the internal logging system Chrome uses. It's mainly used by the browser engineers to uh, to bug fix the browser, but as web developers, we can go and have a, a tinker around. It's a bit rough and ready, uh, but it's a, an interesting preview to some of the things that may end up in the Chrome DevTools. I'm going to start a recording and I'm going to just uh, uncheck all of these boxes and just leave these two. Uh, disabled by default, that's where the new stuff is. Then I'm going to open a new tab with Google+. I'm just going to have a scroll around and look at some content, hope there's nothing private there. Uh, this is a photo we took for a, a colleague who just had a, a child. But anyway, uh, let's have a look uh, and see what's what's being traced by that. Now this process here of, of constructing the data can take minutes, so we're going to fast forward a bit. Once we're here, we can use the keys W, A, S and D to sort of navigate around this menu. These uh, three rows of blobs, this is the new stuff, and in the middle row there it's going to show us what the browser is painting every time it did some painting. So you can see this is where I'm uh, opening up Google+. But that's not the interesting bit. We need to go into the other process and see what uh, the tab with Google Plus was actually doing. If we scroll down, yeah, okay, there's a lot of paints. That's probably Google Plus. So we can see the paints that were done by Google Plus, and we can see it's painting a lot more than was just in the browser. It paints ahead, so that keeps uh, scrolling fast. And you can see there it's tracking um, the amount of scrolling I was doing as well. But here's where it gets really interesting. We can go to the full composited view and see how the page was put together and what pictures uh, made up that view. We can see here that the Hangouts menu in the side there is shaded red. That's just because it was just updated. We can uh, disable that, so uh, uncheck show invalidations. And here's the cool bit. We can uh, rotate the page around in 3D and see all of the layers. Oh, three layers here. We've got the background layer, we've got the Hangouts layer, we've got another layer for the scroll bar. If we go towards the end of the trace, we can see some of the paints that happened a lot later. And then the composite view is a lot different. We still have the, the whole of the painting, but the, the view we're actually looking at is much further down. This blue box here represents uh, the, the bit that's currently in view. But we, it's kind of obvious here because we can see all of the position fixed elements are halfway down the page. And we can see this menu at the side, which is out of view at the moment, but it's rendered and it's painted. So when you press the menu button, it can just slide into view. And once again, the cool thing, we can rotate it in 3D, we can see all the layers. There are many more layers uh, l later on because we've introduced all of these position fixed elements. So we've got the top menu there, the side menu, the hangouts are still there, the scroll bar still gets its own layer. And you can use this to get an impression of all the layers that, that make up your site. In this side menu, you can see all of the layers uh, that, that compose that one drawing. And you can get metadata about those as well. So you can see all of the individual draw commands that made up that layer, and also get an impression of how much space it's taking up on the GPU and how many GPU tiles it's using. We can actually take one of these individual pictures and save it out uh, in SKIA format. SKIA is the uh, open source drawing tool that we developed at Google and we use uh, in Chrome. And once you have this, you can take it into the SKIA debugger Getting the SKIA debugger up and running is a little bit more involved, but I'll include a link if you want to, to have a go. I really hope we can get some of this stuff into um, the normal Chrome DevTools. Within the SKIA debugger, you can see all of the draw commands that made up a particular image. So, you know, even just things like an underline, that's a, a draw command, you know, draw a line. Bits of text, that's a command. Rounded corners, boxes, shadows, they all have their own commands, and you can scroll through them and see a page sort of build up in, in front of your eyes and it's it's kind of amazing the amount of commands that go into just building up a, a fairly simple page and this tool uh, gives you the insight to that. I really hope we can build a tool that will show you your page and just point out the areas that took uh, the longest to draw and the longest to composite. Anyway, I urge you to have a look at this stuff, to have a play with this stuff, but be aware it is super alpha or probably something before alpha, it's probably going to crash, your laptop will set on fire, the, the pixels will come out and punch you in the face. That's not our problem, but do have a play around with it because it's, it's really, really fun. If you have any questions about this stuff, drop us an email or leave a comment on the YouTube video and we'll do what we can to help. But yeah, it, it's super alpha, but it's also super exciting.